Good afternoon. Well, we have an afternoon activity that we're going to work on. Um, as you see here, we're going to be planting some carrots. But why toilet paper and glue? Well, you'll find out here in a minute. As you guys know, carrots are hard to sow. We tried the board method earlier this year and it didn't work. So we're going another route to do some uh, fall carrots. What you'll need is toilet paper because carrot seeds are so small. As you can see here, they're teeny tiny and they just have a hard time germinating. Um, we're going to very carefully, I'm gonna show Josiah here in a minute. He's going to dip the paintbrush into this little mixture of flour and water for our glue. Then he's going to dip the paintbrush and get one seed. And then we'll put the seed in the center of the toilet paper. We're gonna fill this whole thing up with carrot seeds. We are making our own seed tape is what we're doing. So you ready to get started, Cy? Yep. All right, here we go. Okay, so dip it in the glue, Cy. Dip it in the glue. There you go. Just have it on the tip there. And now get one seed. Very good. Remember where I told you to put it? No. Kind of close right here. And just mm. paint it on there. Yeah. You did it! Nice job! All right, we're gonna keep doing that till we fill this whole thing up, okay? The benefit of seed tape, especially with small seeds like this, is to help with spacing. I'm terrible at thinning things. I just have a really hard time. <laughs> I just kind of let things go and then it goes too far. So this helps me with my spacing already. Another cool thing is you can actually store this as long as it does not get wet. You can store it in a cool dry place until you're ready to plant. Another fun thing is the kids like it, right Ty? Was that fun to do? Yeah. Yeah, and you can do it with more than just carrot seeds, any type of really small seed like this, it works really well. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place this out in another little section that I'm experimenting to try to grow carrots, and I'm going to wet it. I might put a little bit of mulch on the side just to, to keep that um, toilet paper down. And then every day I'm gonna go out and wet it until they germinate. So Lord willing, we'll have some carrot sprout real soon. Thanks for your help, Si. You're Here's the finished product. I got some soil from the chicken coop that we have put to the side to put just a thin layer on top. And then I just took some dry hay and scratched it between my fingers to put it over top of that to retain moisture. And it's been watered. So hopefully the seed tape will do the trick and I'll keep you guys posted to see if these babies are going to sprout. Thanks for watching today y'all. It was a short video but short and sweet gets to the point, right? Speaking of sweet, check out some of the sweet corn that we will have before too long. I cannot wait to take a bite of that stuff again. This is what my kids are waiting for. Like I'm waiting for my green tomatoes to ripen. They are waiting for our corn to get ready. Y'all come back.